Your three minute Q&A period for the Scotiabank Climate Action Challenge will now begin. What effect has your project had on greenhouse gas emissions and how was that impact measured? So we measured the CO2 diverted um, through using soy wax rather than paraffin wax. So through um, responsible production and consumption. And we also measured the cardboard waste diverted by using sustainable packaging. So that includes, for instance, glass jars that are reusable and natural raffia for packaging, which is biodegradable. Uh, in the last year, since March, 2021, we diverted 34.5 pounds of cardboard waste and we diverted 379 um, pounds of CO2 emissions, which aligns with the uh, United Nations Sustainable Goal, Goal Climate Action. And next question, please. How do you ensure that your impact with this project is long lasting? Um, so we are actually a business and our way of making sure that we last long is building relationships with our retailers. We use our own profits that we make from the sales of our products to invest them to creating even more products. And we are building even more relationships with more local retailers. Next question, please. What was the biggest challenge you faced when implementing this project and how did you overcome it? So one of the greatest challenges we faced was making our product sustainable and also ensuring that our business is profitable. Of course, when we look at our competitors that throw sustainability outside out the window, um, it's going to be more challenging for us to develop our product in a manner that aligns with values of sustainability. But through product testing and through um, expert advice with our partners, including Fraser River Indigenous Society, and um, our retailers as well, we were able to ensure that our product is sustainable. Aside from that, another one of our challenges was integrating Indigenous culture into our product through our branding um, in a way that was accurate and culturally relevant and meaningful and sensitive as well. Uh, we did this through our partnership with the Fraser River Indigenous Society and they partnered us with an Indigenous elder um, who helped us select our scents so that they're meaningful and helped us create our labels, which are written in Indigenous languages. And 50% of our profits go towards, are invested in the Fraser River Indigenous Society. They use it for social programs uh, in the Fraser Valley. And so not only do we promote Indigenous culture, but uh, we also support Indigenous programs within the community. And uh, your time has now expired. Thank you. Thank you.